We didn't see the right bit. Excellent. All right, good. So um, today I'd like to talk about ASVO demo, ASVO demo, which is about the ASVO MWA project. Um, let me talk about the, first of all the amount of funding. So the total amount of funding of this project is close to a million dollars, which includes 425k from the ants, ideas and nectar. L also contributed 300k as a cash contribution to this project plus 260k from palsy in terms of in-kind contribution in terms of hardware. So as together, this is a reasonable uh, big project. Um, we have signed a contract with UQ, RDS UQ in January. The project is officially started in early February. This talk mainly will be composed by three parts. First of all, I'd like to give you a quick rundown of the decadal plan. Then I will talk about what's AL's approach to addressing this decadal plan because MWA played a critical important role in this decadal plan. Finally, I'll talk about the ESVO MWA project. Let me first of all talk about the decadal plan. Astronomers get together and generate, produced the second decadal plan called Australia in lieu of the, um, what's that blog? Of global astronomy. So in this version of the decadal plan, there are five equally weighted priorities. Um, there was two priority related to this ESVO MWA project. There are priority number two, development of the SKA precursor at MRO and the membership of the SKA. So MWA project is one of the two SKA precursor. Another one is SKA. Another priority related to this project, which is my personal favorite, is the number five world-class HPC and the software capability for large theoretical simulation results to enable processing delivery of large data set from these facilities. To particular for the priority number five, so to better addressing this priority, AO commissioned a working group chaired by Professor Matthew Bells draw expertise from different astronomy expert computing results group, institutional and groups, published a report called Computing Infrastructure Planning Working Group Report. I have to say to me, when I first joined AAO almost two years ago, when I reading this report, I feel like a bubble to me. It's a, it's a set up a set of the guidelines to advise AAO's investment for the next five years which lots of concrete ideas. And in general, this report could be summarized to key recommendations. The first one is a device AL to set up ADEX, Astronomy Data and Computing Service, to provide different specific training, support and expert, expert service to maximize scientific return from existing infrastructures. The second key recommendation is suggest AL to consider invest seven to $15 million in the next five years for astronomy dedicated data storage and computing results. With limited budget, AL implemented recommendation number one, which is we set up ADEX, but we didn't implement the second recommendation, which is in terms of the hardware info investment. It's important for me to emphasize, even we have the seven to $15 million in the futures, okay. our approach, perhaps we will not go by ourselves but we perhaps will be partnership with POSI, NCI, and Swinburne all start on these hardware infrastructures. Um, so ADEX was officially launched in March 2017. The general aim of ADEX is provide astronomy specific training, support, and expert service to maximize scientific return. Of course, as I mentioned before, this is our current approach to addressing the decadal plan outlined priorities. ADEX currently has two nodes. One node in Melbourne, led by Professor Gerard Hurley at the Swinburne HPC. Um, second node is in Perth, joint lead by Professor Andrew from Curtin University and Jenny Harrison from Posey. So the current ADEX has four service component. The first component is training which aim to provide expert astronomy oriented expert training support in software development, data management, HPC and advanced data analysis. As you may or may not see, so for the last 18 months, there was a set of the face-to-face -face training, online learning, webinar, seminar and Hexon events being organized by ADEX. 
And I believe in the next 12 months, there will be more events will come. The second service component is national support, which aims to empower Australia-based astronomers to advance their research by providing astronomy-oriented national support. Um, the ma major component of this one is to deliver data and computing expert service to astronomy groups. For the last 18 months, ADAS called two rounds of data computing ex expert service. The general idea is embedding data computing expert into re astronomy research groups to help them solving their day-to-day -day technical IT issues. It could range from easily, you know, solving your IT, so debugging your smooth your clean up your data set to optimize your HPC code running more efficiency. So I have to say running, judging based on the over subsequent rate, which is quite support, uh, amazingly to see the community is welcomed on this service. So the first um, data computing expert service, we received more than 300% over subsequent rate. And the second round, we have more results available. <laughs> Unfortunately, we received more than 500%. Clearly, one side is a good figure. One thing it indicates the community is quite passionate on this service. Another side is I'm worried if the over rate continuing this figure, it's like ARCDP will kill lots of people's interest. So we will continue to invest more resources to better addressing the community needs. The third component is ASVO, which is related with, with this NWA project which aim to integrate and federate existing ASVO node to enable relevant astronomy data set to be findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. The fourth one is access to national infrastructures, which aim to provide a sufficient, sufficient data and storage and computing resource available to astronomy communities. Let me mainly talk about the ASVO part because that is mainly ends at this NECTA funded this project. So for the leverage, leverage previous and next ideas funding, we have successfully set up three as well nodes. They are town node at Swinburne, mainly for theoretical data set. The second node is sky map node, which is for optical data at NU. Third node is data central for AAT, and which is mainly processing the AAT data sets from the side siding screen. We are quite fortunately talking to Saro, they've been agreed to join ASVO community. So CASDA has been part of ASVO community from January 2017. Yeah, we, well, we have yeah. Of course, so leverage the, leverage the funding from ANS Nectar ideas this year. We are started building the fifth node, the ASVO MWA node. So this diagram just talk show you about what sort of data set has already ingested into different nodes made it available for you to process in trouble. And also what sort of new data set will be ingested in the next 12 to 18 months. One bit I'd like to highlight is new data set may not be only for draw your attention, but from the service provider point of view, it's also become the testing case for your scalability of your existing infrastructure. What I mean is let me take a scan map example. So SkyMap from NU released the SkyMap data one, release one in before, a week before Christmas last year. We saw that a week before Christmas, no one will be interested. In fact, we received more than 23,000 clicks within the first 24 hours, which is good testing case for NCI's data computing infrastructures. Now let me talk about the mainly for ANS artist Nectar funded ASVO MWA project. So first of all, why we need for this ASVO MWA project? I've already mentioned from decadal plan point of view, there was one out of five priority dedicated to development SK precursor. And MWA is one of them. And also from national research infrastructure roadmap point of view, they set up the seven, nine key research inf infrastructure themes. Astronomy is one of them, sits under the advanced physics and astronomy. There are two key recommendations towards astronomy. One of them are maintained priorities through the full utilization of SK precursor. Clearly, MWA is one of the two of key SK precursors. So now let me talk more detail about what does this project for. I think Ming, Dr. Ming Fang Wu sent me a question for four questions to answer. 
Okay, so for the uh, Robert, you have less than a minute. Okay, I will be quick. For the next three slides, I will mainly answer for this part. So our aim for this bit is we generally try to reduce the technical barrier for the community to discover, download, and use the, make it public and proprietary MWA data available. I should say MWA data is quite a big, easily to generate 32 gig data per second. So even I have the mega data available, this is also a challenge for you to discover. That is why this project aims to reduce the technical barrier for you. We also set up, try to set up for transformation to make Andrew happy devil project. Anyway, so this project will go for four key service components. The first one is calibrations, which aim to allow users to apply system determined calibration solution to the data set. Second one is authentication, which we aim to apply the EDU again. Third one is the VO space, which we aim to develop IVA compatible VO space enabled to interoperable data set connecting to the HPC and processing the data. Finally is the website development to make sure it's compatible with the VO standard and as well as requirements. So in terms of tech stack, calibration part is relatively easy. We will apply the Deluge execution framework for the authentications, we aim to apply the EDU game, as I mentioned before. Of course, I should say not every organization is compatible with the EDU game or AF shipless for domestic. So we are also working on the other solutions. For example, our Chinese colleague is quite passionate for the WeChat authentication APIs. For the VO space, we will, code it, we will develop in the Python. If successful, this will be the third VO space instance and will make the code available for the IVOA communities. For the MWA web development, we will have the Django framework. So the question being asked me is about software approach. Of course, we are taking the Agile. We will have every four weeks have a Springs. As a standard, we have the Jira Plus conference. I found it's quite useful, a Slack channel and a GitHub for source code. Finally, Ming asked me about community engagement. Um, we are at this stage mainly targets on the MWA internal because MWA has 21 member, current user have more than 150. For the existing users, we will leverage the user survey to gathering their requirements. Leverage the MWA ADEX workshop addressing the, this program, made the progress demonstrations email newsletter, and also plan to make a demonstration through the conference workshops. Also, we plan to expert the review to gather feedback. Of course, we are also targets on external user may leverage the Astronomy Society Australia email explorer to update the project progress. Talking at the conference, we will suddenly buy the contract that we needed to submit the project progress. So we will make it available for others to see. Personally, I'm not a big fan for Twitter, but of course, Twitter is quite useful, so we will make more tweets through on this channel. Finally, I'll just say, um, all this task is very through my colleague from UWA, Curtin, Halsey, and Swinburne. Without them, nothing is possible. And do a project for the rush, because Andrew said only one minute. I think that is the end of my presentations. Okay, 